folks, uh, welcome back. Uh, right, okay, I'm on the dealer record online. Um, I'm sorry, folks, it doesn't get it doesn't get any worse. You know, it doesn't get it's not getting any better. And it's another pedophile story, but we've got to we've got to keep on this. You know, it, it can kind of grind you down a wee bit talking about it um, and hearing about it. But you know, this is this these people have to be um, captured, um, and that's from the low the lowest to the highest. You know, this isn't just happening in um, working class. This is happening in elite um, society as well as political society. It's happening. It's happening everywhere. So brick by brick, we need to pull this Houston. So let's let's get into this one, right? Sick pedo hounded out of Glasgow home. Hounded out of his Glasgow home by an angry mob. Gets ten years for abusing kids. The pedophile known as Brother Peter. God, preyed on his young victims, even telling one, I love you like a son, a son, as he sexually abused him. So, there he's there. I'll play the, I'll play the video first so we can see. Basically what's happening is he's being confronted at his house by people across the street. Um, and you'll see it for yourself. So, just hold on a second. So there you go folks, that's him, uh, a dirty degenerate pedophile, hounded out his house, and that's the way, that's the way they should be treated. I mean he's lucky, he's lucky isn't he? And nobody's harmed him, you know? They just made him move out the area. Um, if the police, if society didn't have strict rules, he would have suffered a lot, a lot worse fate than that. So anyway, let's talk about him. Peter Toner. 61, groomed and sexually abused five pupils at his former St. Columbus College in Largs in Ayrshire in the early 80s. Um, he was known as Brother Peter. His abuse became so well known, another teacher locked him in his room at night to stop him going, going near the boys. Today at the High Court in Glasgow, Judge Jonah Johnson jailed Tony for 10 years and told him you were convicted on a number of serious sexual offences against five young boys aged between 8 and 11. That's absolutely dreadful, isn't it? Imagine your kid at eight, between 8 and 11, you know? They're really vulnerable, do you know what I mean? These boys were in your care as, as, as pupils. You were a former teacher and you were in control of the boys. Your predatory sex offending on these boys was a dreadful breach of trust, so it was, and you wrecked the lives of those boys. That's right, because they've had to carry that all the way into adulthood as men. And try and lead a normal life. And let's, there's some, some, the, the guys talking down here. But the boys now men told Prosecutor Bernard Abbott how they had suffered at Tona's hands. One told 
how he initially searched for his abuser online to see if he was still alive and reported him to the police. He said, I had kept it hidden all this time. I wanted it all to come out. The victim now 46, the victim now 46 said, I was an innocent child who was sexually abused at the hands of that animal. That is the truth. Another victim, now 47, recalled, he once told me he loved me like a son. That's dreadful, isn't it? Another victim, also now 47, said, the first person he confided in about the sexual abuse he suffered was his dad in 2006 after seeing something on the news. So basically, folks, this is this is what it's all about. All this has to come out. Um, you know, you need to just uh, stick ways with these kind of mad stories. And there's the children there. There's there's the there's the kids there. You know, obviously at the school. And that animal just took advantage of them. Anyway, folks, it's no uh, it's not the best story. It's no the most heartwarming story. But if you can uh, find it, you know, to you know, if you can give me a wee like and uh, and subscribe, that would be appreciated. I know it's no particular something that you do like hearing about, but it's no. It's no the subject matter you're liking, it's the channel really. Alright, okay folks, that is what it is. Peace out.